To no one's surprise, data analyst continues to be a hot job in 2020. In this Data Analyst Salary 2020 guide, we'll talk about what companies are paying no matter what level of analytics that you're on. The salaries contained in this video are based on extensive research by many analytics organizations. They're based on what companies are actually paying analysts as well as incorporating market trends to make small adjustments to the 2020 expected salaries. Hi, I'm Jen, welcome to the channel. The number of data analyst jobs continue to grow as companies continue realizing that the amount of data they have needs to be managed and insights need to be gathered from it. Data analysts usually do some amount of programming as well as analysis work that requires statistical skills. Data analyst roles are different than data reporting analysts or reporting analyst roles, which unfortunately sometimes get mixed in. So when you see salary data that looks significantly lower than this, and you will depending on which sources you check, keep in mind that it often includes these within it. Today we're talking specifically about just data analyst roles. Entry level data analyst roles for 2020 have a median pay of $84,000. This is slightly up from the 2019 rate of 82,000. This doesn't reflect a significant change, it's the normal anticipated change that we would see just from regular inflation. This $84,000 is a base pay expectation, so benefits and bonuses would all be on top of that rate. At this entry level, you're probably pretty new to data analytics. Maybe you just graduated or you're just transitioning careers. You're typically dealing with less complex subject matter and likely are going to need to work with a mentor or some other expert to help you on more complicated issues. You may find positions below the salary in small companies, in remote areas of the country, or if an organization just doesn't recognize the value that data analysts bring. Once you have some experience, you can expect to make a fair bit more. Mid-level analysts in 2020 are making around $100,000 as the median pay. At this level, you'll have at least a few years of experience and be able to do the job competently. Acting as a data analyst, you won't often need to work with other people, though you may need to consult someone more skilled on extremely complex issues. You'll be dealing with average complexity in your day-to-day -day work, not something incredibly complicated, but still problems that are going to require a fair bit of discipline and understanding and analytical thinking skills. Data analysts with more experience than normal or those working in niche industries with a significant amount of knowledge can expect to make $119,000 a year at its median pay. Salaries can go up to $150,000 or more if you're in really niche areas or are one of few people that can perform the work. For those that are making $120,000 or more, they typically have additional certifications and have many years of experience demonstrating that they know how to put these into practice. All of these salaries are just base salaries. Benefits and bonuses and other compensation can easily add $10,000 or more to the total compensation value. These data analyst salaries also don't account for location differences and industry differences. So you'll find that some industries like tech tend to pay a lot more and some industries tend to pay less. Also, your location is going to determine it. Many of the positions that you'll find in the Silicon Valley area are gonna pay 30% more than what the rest of the country pays because they're an in-demand industry and they're in a high cost of living location. On the other hand, if you're in El Paso, you might make 15% less than the average salary elsewhere in the country. These are all salaries in the US. In Canada, salaries tend to run about 25% lower than the numbers that we looked at today. The salaries we just looked at apply to the US. If you're in Canada, salaries tend to be about 25% lower across the board, no matter which level you're at. On the upside, location differences don't seem to make that much of a difference, usually plus or minus about 3% depending on the location. If you're working as a data analyst today, how does your pay compare? 
If you're applying for jobs to become an analyst and you need help reaching these salaries or doing better than the median, reach out for help on your negotiation strategy. It can make the difference of hundreds of thousands of dollars over the course of your career. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.